हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू क्लास इलेवन ऑफ सी एम वन आई एम प्रताप फ्रॉम स्मियर्स एजुकेशन सोल्यूशन आई डिस्कस अबाउट लेबल एनविटीज टूडे इन द क्लास टिल टूडे वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स वेर वी हैड ओनली वन पेमेंट इन दिस क्लास विल मूव फ्रॉम वन पेमेंट टू मेनी पेमेंट्स सपोज we consider this one here we found the future value of 100 if you remember if i is 10% that used to be 110 and there is only one arrow here that means we were interested previously to find the future value after one year suppose you want to invest 100 now how much you can expect after one year if the rate of interest is 10% per annum this is what we have done previously even the present value if you want to get 100 after one year interest rate in the market is 10% per annum then how much you have to deposit now how much you have to deposit now so that after one year you get 100 this was present value and we know that this is 100 v considering that v is 10% this is 100 divided by 1 plus i and that was 90.90 deposit 90.90 today and receive 100 after one year this is called present value of 100 or discounted value of 100 but remember in both the cases we found the present value or the accumulated value now come to this example this is also already done i brought this from one of my previous classes now suppose you want to have some amount now so that you will be able to pay 100 to someone after 2 years this one and 200 after 4 years now we are talking about two payments from one payment now we are moving to two payments suppose you want to pay 100 after 2 years 200 after 4 years how much you should have now interest rate is given 10% per annum with 10% per annum interest rate how much you need to have now and we found it out already 219 0.2473 if you deposit this much amount now you will be able to receive 100 after 2 years 200 after 4 years suppose you are studying in a college it's a 4 year course and you want to deposit 100 after 2 years and 200 after 4 years then you need to keep this much amount in the bank now it's not 300 if you had 100 plus 200 it will be 300 is 219.2473 it's very easy to calculate find the discounted value of 100 for one year find the discounted value of 200 for two years you will get the answer of course you need the interest rate now from two payments let's move to many payments here also two what will make it one and then the next one also one this is one here and one here remember we are starting level annuity when we talk about annuity we consider a series of payments not one or two you may have 30 payments suppose i is 10% here and you need to know the present value of one after one year 
and one after another year. Remember, we are talking about the payments in arrears. Suppose if you work in a company, you have to work one year, then they will pay you one. You work another year, then they will pay you one. Suppose one lakh. You get one lakh after one year, another one lakh after two years. You want to know how much is the amount now. You don't want to wait for future time. You want to find the present value. How much you are expecting? You have to find the present value. Present value of one is V. Present value of this one is V square. So if you are able to add somehow V plus V square, you will be able to get this amount. And this amount is nothing but V already we know that is 1 upon 1.1 1, 1 and V square also you need to find and you have to add. This is not a difficult task. You can always find that. It will be 1.7355. 1 1.7355. 1 if you have actual table, you can see directly and you can write the value. And there is a notation. You need to know the notation. The notation for this is A2. So if you are seeing for the first time, this is A2. What is A2? A2 is the present value. I can write it here. A2 is the present value. We say you can write PV, present value of, or you can write present value at time, at time zero. Present value at time zero of payments of one in areas. Or you can write at the end of the year. For two years. That means the present value of these two ones is A2. You can find this way. But if I write 30 payments here, it will be very difficult to find the present value. Suppose you want to join a company and you know that you get one lakh after each year for 30 years. Can you know now what should be the present value? What I'm saying is, suppose you know that you get one here, one here. Now I'm considering only one year payments. Later we'll make it one month one day also. Suppose these are the payments. What is the present value of all 30 payments? These are in areas, remember. Area means for this year, you will get payment here. You work one year, you get payment here. You work another year, you get payment here. We have payments in advance as well. I'm not going to that. You work one year, you get payment here. You work one year, you get payment here. So for your service, you are getting payment at the end of the year. These are called payments in areas. And when we talk about annuity, we are talking about a series of payments. So there are 30 payments here. And we've started with level annuity. So I've taken one, one, one. I can take 100, 100, 100, not 100, 200. Anyway. The notation for this is A30 and if I write the value, you will be surprised to know that it's even less than 10. It's not 10 even. At 10% per annum, if you find, it will be 9.4269. It will take a lot of time if you directly find it. Because you have to find the present value of this one. 1 into V, 2 into V square, 
3 into v power 3, 4 into v power 4, sorry, it's not increasing NVT, 1v plus 1v square plus 1v power 3, 1v power 29, 1v power 30. So it's a lot. We can't find that. So we'll find a formula for this one. And remember, we'll derive the formula in the next class, but we'll use it to solve problems. The formula for this is 1 minus v power n divided by i. It's very easy. Only three lines you need to write, but we'll do it next time. Remember the formula now, a n is equal to 1 minus v n by i. So A30, if you want to find, it will be 1 minus V30 divided by I, that's all. And if you apply this formula, you get this 9.4269. 9.4269, one payment is equivalent to 30 payments of one in 30 years, one each year. Alternatively, you can think this way. Suppose you have 9.4269 now, you deposit in the bank, you withdraw one each year, and you will get 30 years, one for 30 years. This is called annuity in areas, present value. We have found the present value here. This is one annuity. There are so many types we'll do in course of time. Now suppose they are, these are three. We are doing level annuity. So I'll write equal amounts here, 200. You need to find the present value. This is one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. You need to find the present value of all three. 200 here, 200 here, 200 here. 200 is common amount, you can take common this way and A3 because A3 is the present value of 111. We have written 200, 200, 200. So it will be, it will be 200 A3, but you can find the present value of 100, 200, 300 now. So either you write 100, 100, 100 or 500, 500, 500, but you can't write 50, 250, 300. You are not doing that now. We are doing level annuity. So let me write the present value. I can take 200 common, then it will be A3. You will be able to find this value if you know the interest rate. Suppose interest rate is given 10% per annum. Then you will be able to find this value. The answer will be 200 1 minus V3 divided by I We know I 10%. So you can write 0.10 here. Then you find V 1.10. That is 0 0.9090. And V power 3 you find, you put here, you will be able to find this value. It's very easy. Two point four eight six nine. You can check it, and the final answer will be four nine seven point three eight. You should also remember that this is actually equal to two hundred V. That means this part will grow to 200 in one year. 
and this part will grow to 200 after 2 years this part will grow to 200 after 3 years if you add all 3 you get this one so if you take this common you get v plus v square plus v3 that is 200a3 even if you don't know the annuity you can find answer like this you can write 200 v plus 200 v square you can take 200 v common you get 1 plus v plus v square you can use formula geometric progression you know v right you put v here and you find this value you get same 497.38 we can always find this way. But if there are 50 payments, 100 payments, we have to write long expressions. So A3 here is equal to V plus V square plus V power 3. You need to remember that. Now let's proceed further. Suppose you have four payments. And this is also important because you will be able to know how we are making payments. Now they are yearly and I can write any payment I like, suppose 50, 50, 50, 50 here. I need to find the present value. This will be 50 V. If I don't know anything, I can write this 50 V square. 50 v power 3, 50 v power 4. If you add everything, this total will be 50 a4. And if i is given 10%, we need not find individually. Directly we can write it. 1 minus v4 divided by i and that will be equal to you can put here the value of i and you will get the answer even if you want you can write this way 1 minus 1 1.10 power minus 4 divided by 0 0.10 then you will get the answer 50 into this is 3.1699 and this will be 158.495 50 plus 50 100 plus 50 150 plus 50 200 so 200 present value must be less than 200 that also if you want you can check this is 158.459 this is the final value so this one payment is equivalent to these four payments. Suppose someone says, I want to give you 158495 for some task. Later he says, no, I want to make four payments. So if he gives these four payments at the end of each year for four years, then also that's fine. They're equivalent, they're the same. We'll continue from this for today. Class is over. If you have any doubts, please comment, like and share this video. And please subscribe to keep up with our latest contents. Thank you.